you have a guitar, right? Which I think we also associate with an iconic 80s guitarist, mm -hmm. George Lynch. Ah, yes, yes. I have actually more than one. Yeah. Okay, okay. But we'll check out one. What was the one? Is, it, is this one here, this carved one? This looks really cool. This has a very thin neck. It is, yeah. yeah. So on this one, both the body and the neck are from K&E Guitars, K-N-E, okay. and they're located um, here in Southern California, and he does really good work. I'm, I really like his stuff. That's probably the thinnest neck I have on any of my guitars. So the neck and the body are from K&E, but did you buy them separately? And, no, and I ordered them, them together, at the or? same time. Oh, you, okay. So I, I placed the order and I said, yeah, I want I want the body with the dinky shape. Okay. And, you know, it's a custom order. I told them right. exactly what I wanted. Two humbuckers, hardtail bridge, all that. And then on the neck, I wanted, you know, I told them, what I, again, what I wanted. Reverse headstock, all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. These are really And just cool to be saddles. clear, this mm -hmm. the body did not come like this. It right. was just a, just a regular a guitar flat. body. Yeah. And I used a quarter inch trim router that I got from Harbor Freight for like 30 bucks. Nice. And I penciled on the designs on, on there, Freight. just with a pencil, and then just went on there with the, the router and routed out all the tiger stripes and then sanded everything and then stained it and did everything myself. Nice. These are really cool saddles here. They're like roller saddles and then they've got like a... Yep. Like a... Like a bumpy edge. Grip on there almost. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Put your hand on there. Yeah. That's cool. The pickups, anything special? Donless pickups Donless, again okay. from AliExpress. I'm a big fan of the Donless pickups because I, I, I got a set, just tried them out. Um, actually, the pickups in this guitar, all three of those are Donless. That's the first time I ordered them because I was looking for those like high output, good 80 sounding pickups without paying a lot of money for them. So right. uh, I gave them a try. I was really happy with them. And then since then, I've just ordered a lot of pickups from them. Wow. So this neck, um this has like a rolled edge feeling too. This is very mm -hmm. comfortable, mm -hmm. like the corner. Mm -hmm. Like it almost, you know, like it almost has a curve on the side to it. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, he did a really good job on that. Do you, do you remember like, like how much these go for? Like the neck, how much it costs? The neck was more expensive than the body. Mm. Of course, I guess there's more work that goes into that because of putting the frets and stuff. So mm -hmm. the body is, if, for that kind of body, it's an alder body. It's a two-piece center seam alder body, mm -hmm. somewhere around like $130 okay. plus shipping, so it's not too bad. And then the yeah. neck, though, maybe I'm thinking was around 200, maybe maybe a little over 200 with the shipping and everything. Okay, but totally worth it. Cool. Well, let's plug this it out. In. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. myself um, pulling the high E off the edge a little bit. Yeah, on yeah, because it's it's a pretty narrow neck and mm. it's yeah, the strings fairly close to the edge. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a trade-off though, right? Because on one hand, it makes it really comfortable. Yeah, like on the on the corners of the fretboard, but on the other hand, it's 
Yeah, if you do a down bend or something like that. Right, so right, right. So it's something that, like, I think you kind of, if you play it for a while, you get used to it, and right. you know, you kind of expect that if you play a certain way, that's going to happen, and then you just yeah. kind of adapt. And that's kind of what I end up doing with when I play that one, and some of the other ones as well that also have very narrow necks and like the strings are very close to the edge. So I know it's definitely not for everybody, but if it works good for me. Well, yeah, awesome, dude. You've got a great collection here, and they're all very, uh, you know, I like the variety here. Like, you know, they're all. I mean, there's certain features that you like, mm -hmm. but like the bridges and everything, but. You've got all these different colors and different headstocks, that kind of stuff. And, but uh, yeah, do you ever have that? You know, somebody, we were talking earlier, right? And somebody was asking, do you ever have that problem where you can't decide what guitar to play? And do you run into that? Um, you know, yes and no. Um, I find myself like when, when I'm going to record something, and it, if it's not like a guitar review and I need to use that guitar for that video yeah. or that for that recording, but I'm, I'm, I can just use any guitar. I find myself reaching for probably like the same two or three mm. guitars every time, um, which a lot of times is this one. Mm -hmm. And this was the actually the guitar that I used when I did the Guitar Max guitar solo contest. Right. This yes. is the one I played in that video. Nice. And because it's one of my best ones. Um, and this is actually, I think maybe the first guitar that I built for myself, mm. where I got the body from Warmoth and the neck from Warmoth and bought all this stuff and did this kind of crazy looking kamikaze paint job myself with spray cans, so yeah. it's not professional at all. Um, but for whatever reason, it just plays and it sounds fat fantastic. And then the other guitar that I grab a lot is my uh, Charvel DK24 mm. with the purple phase finish because it's just, it's totally awesome. Yeah, those yeah. are awesome. Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, getting exactly what you want in a guitar, I think we have one more guitar to check out. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I think it's over here. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's grab it. Oh, what do we have here? Yes. Oh. We have the very difficult to get currently Harley Benton Guitar Max Fusion Signature. Yeah, sold out, right? Sold out, yeah. And you're gonna give me this one, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> well, let's check it out anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So we should maybe talk about your amplifier setup because all of these guitars, these don't sound like that when I play them. So I think there's something wrong with my equipment, basically. What? Uh, <sighs> so what's this? What's this amplifier that you're using here? Because this is, uh, is okay. this, it makes all of my guitars sound much better, and I don't understand what's going on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I actually like a diesel, I get this question like a, Bogner a lot or something like that or what? A Fried Marshall? Friedman, Friedman, Mesa maybe Mesa, yeah. Yeah, a no. combination of those. No, 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 no. You might think that. Yeah. Um, it's actually line six, and I'm not. Use, I'm not even using. We're not playing through an amplifier. We're actually just plugged right into my computer. Mm. Um, I'm going into my little interface, and I've had this for like 15, 16, 17 years, something like that. 
Yeah, no expensive amplifier, no $3,000 amplifier, nothing like crazy or anything like that. So into the little $100 interface that I got like 16 years ago and then it just goes into my computer and the software is Line 6 Pod Farm version 2. And even that's old. So this is not the answer I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, but that yeah, that's what it is. Well, well, give me your impressions of this guitar. Uh, great. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love the color because mm -hmm. I love the dark green. Um, I love the pickup setup because I like two humbuckers, and even though this might look like a single coil, it's actually yeah. a humbucker. Um, the neck is very comfortable. I love the satin finish. It's got the big frets. I love the 24 frets, great access. The shape, it's a dinky, my favorite guys, so yeah, really nice. So I get to keep it, right? Well, and, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe perhaps some other Harley Benton that I have, you know, collecting mm -hmm. dust or something, I can give you those instead, but um, yeah, you know, we'll see, you know. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, dude, this was really cool, man. You've got some really cool guitars here, and thanks for letting me check them out. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for coming over. It's uh, been my pleasure. Yeah, and guys, like, you know, I'm sure a lot of you already know about his channel and, of course, lots of links below for you to check out all this stuff. But if you have not already, if you're new to his channel, please go over to his channel and subscribe. He does a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of stuff kind of along the lines of what I do, but with, you know, with your own spin yeah. on it. Yep. And uh, he also has, you know, you've got some regular guests that come on, a metal dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. the great cast of characters over there. Yeah. So yeah. thanks a ton, man. Great uh, hanging out with you. And, yeah. Uh, talk to we'll talk. have to do it again. Absolutely.